So in this presentation, we'll explore the differences between sharpened free instruments and traditional sharpenable instruments, weighing the pros and cons of both to help you make an informed decision. Sharpening instruments is a necessary part of clinical practice, but it comes with challenges, time consumption, inconsistencies, and even physical fatigue. So these frustrations have led to the development of sharpened free instruments designed to improve efficiency and reduce the need for manual sharpening. So together, we'll take a balanced look at both options, traditional and sharpened free, to determine which approach best suits your needs, your workflow, and your practice. I've created this quick reference guide. Uh, you can print and post this guide in your operatory or in your at, at your practice as a reminder when evaluating your instrumentation needs. I'll share that slide again at the end with the QR code and the website. Okay, so today's lear learning objectives for this presentation, we're going to compare and evaluate sharp and free and traditional instruments to understand their features, benefits, and limitations in clinical practice. We will analyze the clinical and financial impact of instrument selection, including time investment, cost effectiveness, and efficiency. And we'll determine which instrument system, sharp and free or traditional, best suits the needs of your practice to enhance patient care, clinician well being, and overall productivity. All right, so let's just take a look. We'll start with the traditional instruments. So, what are traditional instruments? Uh, they are crafted from stainless steel and require peri periodic sharpening to restore their cutting edge. The advantages, there's a lower upfront. Traditional instruments are generally uh, less expensive to purchase than sharpened free instruments. And they also allow you to, to restore sharpness as needed. So you could expand their lifespan when maintained properly. But here are some of the challenges of traditional instruments. Time commitment, sharpening is time consuming, especially in a busy practice. And many regions globally now prohibit chair-side sharpening due to infection prevention and control concerns, which means that we must sterilize our instruments, sharpen them, and then re-sterilize before using them again. And this is adding to workload and costs, including sterilization pouches, pouches and chemical indicators. There's also a risk of over sharpening. So you're, you're removing too much metal and can alter the instrument's original design, diminishing its effectiveness and reducing its lifespan. Inconsistency and in sharpness, the quality of sharpening depends on the skill of the pers person performing it. Ideally, a single person should be responsible for sharpening to maintain consistency as techniques can vary widely and extending the use beyond uh, recommended lifespan. So while using an instrument slightly longer may seem cost-effective, many practices unknowingly exceed the recommend, recommended usage, compromising performance. And you're compromising functional safety. Over time, improper sharpening or excessive wear can alter the instrument's functional safety, um, effect, affecting clinical outcome and increasing the risk of patient discomfort or injury. All right, so what are sharp and free instruments? Sharp and free instruments are designed with advanced metal alloys that maintain their sharpness for the entire lifespan of the instrument. So unlike traditional instruments that require frequent, frequent sharpening, these are engineered to provide long lasting precision and efficiency. Now the LM sharp and free instruments, for example, are made from exceptionally durable spe special metal alloy um, what makes them even more unique is the protective micromembrane coating, um, which enhances the wear resistance and helps maintain excellent sharpness and control throughout use. With sharpened free instruments, you eliminate the need for manual sharpening. You never sharpen these instruments, ensuring consistent performance without the risk of over sharpening or altering the instrument's original design. This means you can focus on patient care with predictable, reliable instrumentation every time. All right, so the advantages uh, of using sharpened free instruments. One of the biggest benefits is consistent sharpness. 
These instruments maintain their edge throughout their lifespan, eliminating variability in the sharpness that often occurs with manual sharpened tools. Another major advantage is that they eliminate the need for sharpening altogether. This means no more time consuming sharpening sessions, no extra costs for sharpening tools, and no concerns about maintaining the correct angulation. Uh, with improved ergonomics, sharpen free instruments help reduce hand fatigue and wrist strain. A consistently sharp edge means you are applying less pressure during instrumentation, leading to a more comfortable experience for both the clinician and the patient. Uh, they, they also contribute to improved efficiencies in clinical workflow. And without the interruption of sharpening, sterilization, and reprocessing, you can spend more time focusing on patient care rather than maintaining your instruments. And finally, one of the most overlooked benefits, they can never be overused. Uh, with traditional instruments, there's always a risk of using them beyond their functional lifespan. With sharpen free instruments, you have a, a predictable controlled replacement schedule, ensuring you always work with optimal efficiency and safety. So these instruments are designed to provide superior sharpness, tactile sensitivity, and ergonomic comfort, key factors in achieving optimal debridement outcomes. LM Sharp Diamond instruments maintain their original functionality, size, and shape throughout their life, lifetime, eliminating the variability and wear associated with traditional sharpening. While sharpened free instruments provide consistency and convenience, they do come with some considerations. The higher initial cost can be a deterrent for some practices, especially those that are not accustomed to budgeting for instrument replacement on a fixed schedule. However, this cost must be weighed against the time and expenses associated with sharpening traditional instruments. Additionally, sharpened free instruments are not suitable for indefinite use. Once they reach the end of their functional lifespan, they must be replaced. So this could be a challenge, but it's also for the better. Um, unlike traditional instruments that can be sharpened multiple times, sharpened free instruments eliminate the risk of oversharpening, which can compromise functional safety. So here is a side-by-side -side comparison of traditional and sharpened free instruments. This table highlights the major differences, making it easy to see what which option or what each option offers. For practices with the time and skills to sharpen, traditional instruments can be cost-effective. But for those prioritizing efficiency and precision, sharpened free instruments may be the better choice. All right, so now let's uh, take a look at the clinical and financial implications of both options. So when choosing between sharpened free and traditional instruments, it's essential to consider both the clinical and financial factors. From a clinical standpoint, uh, using consistently sharp instruments improves treatment efficiency and enhances patient comfort. Dull or worn instruments require more force during scaling which can lead to clini cl clinician fatigue and increase the risk of repetitive strain injuries over time. Maintaining instruments uh, sharpness isn't just about efficiency. It directly impacts both the clinician's well-being and the patient experience and treatment served. So financially, sharp and free instruments come with a higher initial cost, but this investment should be viewed in the context of long-term efficiency. By eliminating the need for sharpening, clinicians save time and effort, reduce uh, reliance on sharpening tools, and streamline clinical workflows. On the other hand, traditional instruments have a lower upfront cost, but require ongoing maintenance. Time spent sharpening, the cost of sharpening tools, and the potential for oversharpening all add to the overall cost of ownership. So breaking it down further, when we calculate the time spent sharpening and the potential impact on productivity, sharpened free instruments often balance out in terms of cost, while offering the added benefit of consistent sharpness and reduced maintenance. So understanding these considerations allow clinicians to make informed choices that align with both their clinical needs and financial priorities. So when considering the financial impact of instrument maintenance, it's important to break down the, the, the true cost, not just the upfront investment, but the ongoing expenses related to sharpening, supplies, and labor. Uh, 
So this graph illustrates a cost comparison between traditional sharpenable instruments and sharpen free instruments over time. So for sharpenable instruments, we're looking at a scenario where a practice has eight kits, each containing five instruments. So that's 40 instruments total um, at approximately, I just said, $80 per instrument. Factoring in the weekly sharpening time, along with additional costs for sterilization supplies like pouches and chemical indicators, the annual cost quickly adds up. On the other hand, sharpen free instruments come at a higher initial cost, but eliminate sharpening related expenses entirely. In this example, we're assuming sharpen free instruments last around nine months, bringing the annual investment to 5,300. And that's without factoring in special promotions or sales, which I always encourage clinicians to take advantage of, especially around conferences. And remember, in reality, sharp and free instruments often last even longer, further improving their cost efficiency over time. So while sharpenable instruments may seem like a lower cost upfront, the cumulative cost of sharpening time, labor and materials can make them more expensive in the long run. When we shift our perspective to a long-term investment mindset, sharp and free instruments present a predictable time-saving solution that enhances efficiency and reduces hidden costs. This is why it's important to calculate and compare per patient costs. So we're not just looking at numbers in isolation, but making decisions based on true value and clinical impact. This next example looks at a scenario where instruments are sharpened every two weeks rather than weekly and compares it to sharpen free instruments that last a full year rather than nine months. So at first glance, sharpening less frequently may seem like a cost saving strategy again. Um, however, we can see here that um, it leads to bigger issues that go beyond just the financials. Okay, so let's take a look at the cost breakdown. Um, we have traditional instruments, sharpening costs. Example was $1,620 per year for the time and supplies and labor, while the replacement costs for the instruments, $3,200 per year. So the total annual cost is $4,820. So for the sharpen free, no sharpening costs, that's so zero. And replacement costs to get the new instruments in, $4,000 per year. So the total annual cost is 4,000. All right, so now let's take a look at some real life experiences from clinicians who have made the switch to sharp and free instruments and the impact it's had on their practice. Um, one example was one clinician shared that by transitioning to sharp and free instruments, they were able to save an hour per week of time that was previously spent sharpening. So instead of dedicating, dedicating time to maintenance, they could redirect their focus to patient care and other productive ta tasks. In the next example, reduced hand strain and fatigue. Uh, they reported a noticeable reduction in clinician hand strain after switching to the sharp and free instruments. So the consistently sharp edges meant less force was needed, leading to greater comfort, better ergonomics, and reduced risk of repetitive strain injuries. So these examples highlight the real world benefits of investing in the right instruments. And clinicians consistently report, you know, the time that they saved is incredible. The consistent sharpness improved their precision and efficiency. Um, their patients are commenting on how gentle they are. And I never have to second guess myself now when I'm sharpening because I'm always using the sharp and free. So these are things that I've heard from other clinicians. So now what works best for your practice? So when choosing between sharp and free and traditional instruments, there isn't just a one size fits all answer. Instead, it comes down to what works best for your practices, unique needs, workflow and priorities. Let's break down this uh, to a few, few key considerations, time versus cost. Are you prioritizing time savings or minimizing initial costs? While sharp and free instruments eliminate sharpening time, traditional instruments may seem like a lower upfront investment, but require ongoing maintenance. Efficiency versus maintenance. How much time does your practice currently dedicate to sharpening? Are there inconsistencies in instrument sharpness due to multiple people sharpening with different techniques? Sharp and free instruments offer consistently consistency and efficiency, while traditional uh, instruments require ongoing upkeep to maintain performance. 
short-term investment versus long-term value. While sharp and free instruments have a higher initial cost, they can provide long-term savings by reducing sharpening time, maintenance, and clinician fatigue. Traditional sharp instruments, on the other hand, spread out costs over time, but come with hidden expenses, such as sharpening uh, labor and supply costs. So ultimately, the right choice for your practice depends on your budget, time availability, and long-term goals, whether you prioritize, uh, prioritize time efficiency, financial savings, or clinician well-being, selecting the best system will enhance both patient care and practice productivity. Okay, so let's recap. Sharp instruments are critical for clinical success, patient comfort, and clinician health. Traditional instruments provide flexibility, but require time, effort, and skill to maintain. Sharp and free instruments offer consistency and efficiency, but require a different financial approach. So the right choice is the one that allows you to deliver exceptional care while protecting your body and your time. But remember, anything you hold for 2,000 hours a year better be comfortable. Please visit this website here or scan this code and I will send you the quick reference guide that I've created uh, to go with this presentation. And thank you so much for joining me here today. I hope this presentation has helped you consider what's best for your practice. Let's keep leveling up our instrumentation practices. Mm -hmm.